Hello, this is Pastor Matthew Woods from Grace Lutheran Church in New Albany, Indiana, and this is the weekly devotion for February 21st, 2022. Well, today's title, Do You Have a Good Reputation? Well, recently our, our bake element burned out on our oven, meaning that it'll heat up, but it won't stay heated. As it turns out, our bake element is toast. So I got on the web, did a little research, and found out that I could replace the heating element itself. Great. So I got online, did a little research, got online, uh, found another bake element for a quick condo, uh, 100 bucks, and uh, waited a long time for it because things were moving slow. But when it arrived, I excitedly replaced the element and put it in the stove, probably turned it on and thought, I fixed it. Well, however, three weeks later, we started noticing problems again. And as I share this today, we declare to you that our electric stove is done. It's been a good stove, I guess. Five years old. It didn't last very long. But soon it'll rest in pieces. That means it's time to buy a new stove. So where do we start? The last stove, just five years old. Honestly, that's not a long time again. But I, and, and I hope that the next one lasts a lot longer uh, than they used to. <laughs> so I once again began to research. And this time I was researching stoves. So to start with, the brand that we found, that we found out that we have, actually has a class action lawsuit against the company. Turns out none of their stoves heat correctly. They don't hold the right temperatures, uh, even though they claim it does. But I guess misery loves company, or should I say, misery loves a good lawsuit. So we're not going to use that brand again. So I went on looking for reviews and all the top brands that were out there. And I, all the ones I could think of. And I don't think I left anyone out, but I, I tried to get them all. While some had better reviews than others, all of the major brand names, all of them, had some complaints, a lot of complaints, in fact. Well, some, uh, some of those complaints were damaged when, uh, with the, when it was delivered. Stopped working after eight months. Customer service doesn't really care and therefore it wasn't helpful. And my favorite one-star comment, never buy this stove. Now, I'm not exaggerating when I say not one brand that I looked at uh, has a stellar reputation. Not really. So what does all this mean? It means... I don't know what to get this time. It doesn't help that uh, the stove we have now, if we were to buy it again, uh, would cost us another $300 on top of what we paid the last time. Thanks to COVID and the mysterious supply chain uh, problems, which by the way, conveniently make things cost more. Hmm, I wonder about that one. Okay, a little devious. Uh, the other thing I notice is that stoves are getting a lot like new cars. Uh, yes, the price is going up. There are a lot more bells and whistles on them, however. Things that we didn't want before or need before. Um, and from my point of view, that's just more stuff to break down. Seriously, I'm considering, honestly, uh, starting to cook everything outside on an open fire. Uh, maybe I'll call it the caveman cooking show. I don't know. But fire is a lot simpler than all the gizmos that are going, you know, that may break. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Well, all of this brings to mind where our thoughts are going today. Reputation. How important is a good reputation? Well, Proverbs 22, 1 says, A good name is more desired than great wealth. Favor is better than silver and gold. Ecclesiastes 7, 1 says, a good reputation is more valuable than costly perfume. And we all know how much a good perfume can cost. Just uh, ask the disciples when the woman anointed Jesus on, in John chapter 12, 5. Remember what they said? Well, that was worth a, a year's wages. We could have given it to the poor. Okay. Granted, not everyone is going to get a five-star review all the time. If I was a product... I wouldn't either, frankly. However, the varied reviews that I looked at, and I looked at lots of them, hundreds of them probably, revealed that 
at any one point, any brand name, you might get a lemon. To be fair, many of the places I looked at had a majority of three stars and above, but not all of them. <laughs> so I encourage you to do your own homework if that should be your situation. The possible reality is that something I don't want to buy, I might end up buying. I don't want to buy a world of problems, and I know you don't either. I don't want broken stuff any more than anyone else. And I want, I want something that's going to last a while, more than five years. So who do I trust is really the question. Trust is essentially at the heart of why a good reputation is essential. We would all agree. Like it or not, something, someone is, is going to evaluate the choices we make, the words we use, the way we handle stressful moments, whether we are generous or stingy, and if we, you know, uh, if we will own up to our sins. Will we forgive other people? Will we love people? On the other hand, <clears throat> who do we trust to watch our house while we're on vacation? Uh, who do we trust as a power of attorney? Who will watch our cat when we have to go out for a while? Which child in the family is going to help mom and dad, or both, uh, uh, as the need for health care arises with age? You see, reputations always come into play somewhere. More to the point, do we carry a reputation befitting our Christian faith? Do people know us as Christians? Do people trust us? Do we use words that are constructive and helpful? Are we a good listener? Are we helpful, dedicated, and generous? Are we known for being there when called upon? Are we one whom people see immersed in Scripture when given the chance? People are known for prayer. How we answer these questions depends on our reputations as Christians. That all matters. Jesus' reputation is also important as well. If we were to look at the early chapters of Mark, we quickly find that Jesus had a reputation as a healer and as one who taught with authority. But you notice in those, those passages, uh, in the early years particularly, nobody saw Jesus as Messiah. He didn't have that kind of reputation. So what people think about us may not always be accurate, or they may not have the whole picture of who we are. And let's be fair, that's sometimes the case. But if you look at Jesus' opponents, well, they go out of their way to get it wrong. They often slander Jesus, calling him a friend of sinners, which, by the way, Jesus wore as a badge of honor. They referred to him as the devil, an agent of Satan, a blasphemer, and did whatever they could to, de to besmirch his reputation. They tried several times to trap him in a and, and, and trap questions in order to um, win people over to discredit Jesus. Each attempt failed and only bolstered, bolstered Jesus's popularity with the people. Today as Christians, we know who Jesus is, especially from the scriptures. They come right out and tell us who Jesus is. But we also know from the great cloud of witnesses, we know from the people that loved and knew Jesus before us. The earlier generations of the faithful. He is the one, Jesus is the one who loves the ordinary, the losers and the flops, the sinners, and those who were considered wrong or uh, less than important by the elites of G Jesus's day. Jesus knew what they did and what we have done. He knows everything about us. If we were a brand name and if, uh, if the Lord was keeping score, none of us honestly would be deserving even of one star in our evaluation spiritually. We are broken, we are scratched and dented, but not rejected by Jesus. Jesus still invested in us and he died on the cross for our sins. A good reputation matters. We don't bind reputations with too many question marks. If we're selecting a builder or a realtor, we want the one that is um, known for doing the most good. And avoid, we want to avoid the ones that don't. And the more we have to invest in something, the more valuable that reputation is. The same applies to us. A good reputation is a reflection um, on one's integrity and character, we may agree. And this is what we want to remember most. 
a good integrity is even more important than a good reputation because you can't have a good reputation without a good integrity because others may give us a fair evaluation or an unfair evaluation others will do that to us we cannot always control how others see us but we we hold all the cards for maintaining the integrity that leads to a good reputation with the Lord and the Lord will honor your integrity more than your reputation faithfulness is especially favored faithfulness led to, to jo, uh, led Joseph to forgiving his brothers it led Moses to leading the uh, the people in the Exodus Paul it led to Paul enduring trials and bringing so much good um, and blessings to all of his churches and in fact the Apostles um, their integrity their faithfulness played out all the way to their deaths giving their lives to the Lord for the sake of the gospel just say the name Peter and all kinds of notions of his reputation come about in spite of his failures we can clearly determine and understand very quickly that that Peter loved his Lord and worshiped him so by the grace of God may we also be faithful followers who have godly integrity above all things that would lead God willing to a good reputation may that godly integrity lead to a godly reputation in fact that leaves no doubt that we too love and worship Jesus so may God bless us in this I hope that you have a good week this week and I pray that uh, the Lord will be with you thanks for being with me today uh, thank you for your time uh, and uh, we will plan on seeing you next week uh, by the way, tune into um, the web page and to the uh, Facebook page. We're starting to post pictures on the altar progress, the sanctuary progress. And when you get the chance, the next time you come into worship, you're going to see all kinds of neat stuff going on. It's, uh, it really looks cool. So anyway, uh, join us again next week. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.